Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. We, we got a new guest on today, huh? You got a yeah. friend with you. I'm yeah. Jem. Jem, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Awesome. So uh, welcome back, Vixen. Thank you. How have you been? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're about to go out, going out for some food and drinks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can hear some people in the background. You guys are ready to go, huh? <laughs> That's uh, Craig, and, Craig and Ryan. <laughs> nice. Well, you both look nice. You're ready to go out. Thank you. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Some food. Game tomorrow. Yeah. What kind of uh, restaurant is it? Um, it's like an all-you-can-eat Brazilian. Yeah. Oh, Brazilian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they those give are you nice. Pop, and they give you um, you either have it green facing up, and then they come around and just keep bringing you food. But if you fill up, you have it red. So <laughs> yeah, they just carve it at the table. So they bring different cuts of meat rounds and everything, um, and then you get like a little bit of salad, don't you? Mm -hmm. so yeah, we uh, we went to one of those um, just a few months ago. We were out visiting my uh, my daughter in Utah. Which is like um, like two thousand miles away from you know another state away from us, and uh, they took us to a Brazilian like all you can eat kind of thing, whatever. And uh, it was really good. They did the same thing. They had you know they brought the food and they keep coming around like people were just walking around with different cuts of meats and all kind of stuff. And but I mostly drank so. I was like, where's the guy that can bring around all the different drinks, you know? Yeah, yeah, they've got a massive cocktail menu. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. Try it, try and uh, try all of them on the menu. It's like oh, nice. yeah, we're not going for food, are we? Yeah, it's because it's quite well, a big group of us going this yeah. time, isn't there? So we've been there before. Um okay. last time we visited, we went there. Um, but we've got a few more people. So it's, it's your leaving game, isn't it, tomorrow? Yeah, it's well, leaving game's birthday game. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my birthday. She doesn't want everyone to know it's her birthday because they always make you do the birthday run. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. so, Which I would not be <laughs> doing. <laughs> oh, somebody in that group's going to tell them that it's your birthday. No, it's... Oh, my yeah. <laughs> it's my leaving game, that's it. <laughs> have to do a leaving man <laughs> <laughs> look you get a few drinks in you you'll be putting a birthday hat on and holding a balloon and run around the restaurant yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be good I'm excited yeah um, absolutely well cheers what are you guys drinking right now in, uh, pink gin yeah gin all right gin what are you for Jim. Uh, just beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I got, um, I went and bought some Kraken, you know, the rum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought some of that last night. So, uh, we have family coming over tonight, so I'll be drinking that. Nice. That's one of my favorite. I'm not really What's your, uh, what's your favorite drink, gin? Wine. No hesitation there. <laughs> so, how did you guys meet? Did you meet at Airsoft or somewhere else? I mean, we met on Instagram. Yeah. We? Well, I say met on Instagram. We started yeah. talking to each other on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and then me and Ryan came and yeah, to me. Yeah. So we came down. Um, had a meal, drinks the night before. Um, oh, that's when we went to a place called the South Coast. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. that was both of our first time there, wasn't it? I yeah, I think so. Yeah, that was, that was really good. And then with this is now our third trip down to you guys, is it third or four? Third or four, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's good. So we sort of like come down on Saturday, go out for a meal and drinks. Play on the Sunday and then drive home. Yeah, well, it's a long, long way for you to get here. It's like a four-hour, three-hour drive. So oh, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's hard to do in one day. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Food and drinks, and then game, and then we're going for food again after the game. Yeah. <laughs> we're going for roast dinner. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. That'll be quite nice. We'll all just chill out a bit afterwards. Mm. Yeah. After we've gone straight home after after playing. Yeah. Yeah, we have to remember to bring a um, spare change of clothes because I don't know if you can yeah. lock up in your airsoft again. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think there's about, there's about 13 of us going as well. So if we all turn up on our like, airsoft bit, <laughs> then we'll be like, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Did you guys, you guys just played recently? I saw a gem on your um, Instagram. I saw that you had a group picture like yeah. a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, was that last month? I posted yeah, it a couple, of, yeah, a couple yeah. of days ago. I posted it. It was last month in um, a place called Driverwood, which is like Woodlands, uh, sort of like halfway between. Uh, yeah, yeah, about halfway between both of us. We sort of met up. Okay. Um, we both wanted to play there. Hadn't yeah, we? I mean, everyone talks about it. Yeah. Know, so. we'll go try it out. Some yeah. way we'll meet up. Yeah. Um, that again, we stayed over. Went mm-hmm. for a meal the night before as well. Gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Come yeah. On now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was quite wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, was it so raining? Muddy and boggy. It wasn't even raining, but I think it had been raining, and it was just yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a certain area um, where there was like a little that I think they call the maze, um, and it's all just like trying to get through the woods. But where it was, it had been raining so much, it was just like swampy. So we were trying to like hold on to the trees while we were like oh trying gosh. not to fall in all the water. And Did the- anyone lose a lose a boot or a shoe in the in oh, the mud? Close to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> there were a few moments where I was like, "Oh, someone's gonna fall in." But it was <laughs> nobody did. No, we nearly got a piggyback through it. I, I was like, <laughs> "I can't do this." <laughs> <laughs> Brian was like, "Just I'll carry you, Jen." And I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> but it was yeah, it was quite funny. Yeah, that was a good day. It was very good, but very muddy. Yeah, that's a that's a real common thing. I remember uh, we were doing some training when I was in the military down here in South Carolina. It was really swampy in this area, and I mean our our legs were going down almost to our knees in the mud. And uh, one guy didn't tighten his boots good enough, and he lost his boot in the mud. I think it was – he was trying to reach in there and find it. He couldn't find it. <laughs> he had to walk uh, with one boot on for the rest of the time. It was funny. Oh, my God. We just have to, like, hose off, didn't we? Yeah. At the end. Yeah. So I'll so bet. So much mud. We were like, right, get the hose out. Yeah. Someone hose down before they go. And you're just worried about dropping, like, a magazine or something in the mud. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. It's gone. <laughs> Yeah, just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So what uh what got you into airsoft, Jim? Uh, everyone asked me this, I never know what to say. Um I just my partner Greg uh, yeah. and um it's just I've always liked that type of thing anyway. I say it's okay. like a real life video game. <laughs> right. Um but yeah, I just went along. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, but yeah, loved it and got straight into it straight away. So nice. Yeah, we've been playing. I haven't been playing that long. Two years. Yeah, uh, around two years. Um, yeah, it's good. That's good. Well, I, yeah. I uh, that's that's about when I started getting into uh, you know when we started our YouTube channel. It's been you know almost three years ago, but like a little over two years ago. And uh, before that, I really didn't know anything about airsoft actually i still don't know really anything about airsoft okay? <laughs> <laughs> i know some of the guns and stuff like that but uh you know i'm i'm pretty much a, a novice with it so i like it though it's fun yeah it's fun um i prefer cqb to woodland i think yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I like I like to switch it up every now and again. Yeah, I don't know. I do I do like the sort of fast pace like game style of CQ. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really get up there and in the action. I think yeah. sometimes it like, could be a bit slow. Yeah. Which like it's all right sometimes, depending on the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, CQB is definitely nice. Just fast pace up in there. Yeah. 
Actually, it, was, yeah, it was good fun when we went to South Coast. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot faster. Running around. Yeah. I remember, oh, <laughs> there was this funny time when we went there. And um, I, I just got around a corner and I got shot. And then as I was walking back with my hand up, somebody um, was creeping. And Jen, just watching it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I can say things, so obviously, don't play so talk. So I was just like, mm. and there's this guy creeping up with his pistol behind Jen, just shoots her like, that was like, the bar. That was painful. Like, oh. That was painful. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just watched it. I just sat there and like, that hurt. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing about CQB. It's a lot faster. It's fun. It does get old, you know, like if you do it for like three or four hours in a row yeah. because it's, you know, the same kind of, you know, over and over. But uh, it is kind of fun to mix it up, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's good to mix it up. That's why it's really important to have a site that has like really good game mode. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're playing tomorrow. Yeah, they're really good. Really good game mode. Yeah. That'd be quite good. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the open play or the uh, the the woodland fields and stuff. If you have a lot of people on each team, then it makes it a lot more exciting because yeah. you know you don't have to search very long for a target. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the um, national airsoft festival. I can't really remember how many players they were. Two thousand, two three thousand. I can't remember, but it's brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a okay. festival that here every year. And um, it's, it's a weekend thing. Um, and you can go in and out of the game. So you don't have to stay on all day playing. You can yeah. go back and then go back in again. Right. Uh, but yeah, total there was, I can't remember what it was, two or three thousand people. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. That is cool. Yeah, you, camp out and yeah, you camp. Um, yeah, the atmosphere is just brilliant. Everyone's in good mood. And, yeah, it was oh, that's cool. You camp right there, like by the field? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, okay. they've got, I can't remember how many acres, but it's a massive, massive site, and they've got a woodland area, and then they've got, yeah, loads of space to camp, and then you've got, um, like a CQB arena, loads of stalls, food, um, market, a live band, in the evening. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, that is cool. A few stories. I didn't manage, I didn't manage to go, um, however, I did get told about Jim. In the evening, having a few too many and ended up dancing on a few tables. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't just me. There's another. There's a group of airsoft women there who also joined me on the tables. But yes, it didn't. <laughs> hey, that's great. Those are those are good nights. You yes. got to be when you wake up from a, a night like that. You get you know, for it to be a really memorable night, you got to have those moments where you're like, ah, oh, man. But yeah. you know you would you would have never done that if you didn't drink a lot. You know what I mean? You got to get out, do stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, it was brilliant. It was really good. So we're going to try and do yeah, not this year. No, you're sure traveling, aren't you? But yeah. we're um, going to try and do next year, definitely as a big group. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get a big group. Go camp out. Yeah, It'd be awesome. Yeah, really good. That sounds cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really big event. Yeah, we're going to a uh, a big three day mill sim where we're going to camp out. Uh, we're doing that in three weeks. So uh, the be the first weekend of April. And it's uh it's like three hour, two and a half hour uh, drive from where we're at here in South Carolina. But um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I'm going. I'm not playing. I'm going to uh, film. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got a press pass, so I'm going to do the uh, walk around and take pictures and videos there. <laughs> and I'm going to have a little stash in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be fun. No? Good. Yeah. We've not done a real sim yet, have we? Well, that <laughs> festival sounds like, I mean, that's pretty much the same thing. You know, if you go for three days, uh, <laughs> that's what these, you know, the mill sims are pretty much the same thing. I mean, you're going to have a few different rules, you know, uh, some of them, like for most of the mill sims, you have to do like, uh, if you sign up for a certain class, so machine gun, you know, support or whatever, uh, or rifleman, uh, or a sniper DMR, then, uh, you know, you have specific rules for those, you know, those kind of things. So typically like a, a support gunner will be the only one that can use uh, full auto. And then, you know, 
uh, the other everyone else has to have uh, mid cap mags, uh, and you have yeah. So you have to have like there's oh. one. I think that's this one we're going to is fairly strict. You have to have thirty round mid cap mags. So you know and carry all your mag whatever so that you have to reload just like you know if you had a real ar-15 or m4 or something like that so uh you know with a 30 round mag but uh yeah they won't allow uh full auto with all those other type of guns only the machine gunners you know right. makes it kind of cool but yeah that the event you guys went to is pretty much the same that's you know we're going to camp on the field or you know right by the field and mm -hmm. then uh for the three days there and then so we get there Friday night, and we're going to leave Sunday afternoon. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So yeah, we'll do a campfire. And... Yeah. We'll have to add that to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can just imagine Jim, like, running along with a massive backpack of stuff. That's bigger than me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be uh, bringing <laughs> some uh, drinks out with us. Yeah, it's got to be know, done. <laughs> for, the, for the nighttime part. Now, they don't uh, – so Friday night, they actually are going to have uh, a night game. They're going to be playing throughout the yeah. night. But we didn't sign up. It's like a separate ticket you have to buy for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we didn't get that. So we're going to go and just hang out Friday night, get everything set up. Mm -hmm. So we'll sit around and, you know, away from the field and just, yeah. you know, have a fire and drink and <laughs> get ready, yeah. you know, smoke cigars and – crap like yeah. that so you know. yeah yeah that's like the um, a, yeah. social aspect of it yeah. is really good as well yeah that's what we kind of yeah. like about. yeah when we meet up we go for a drink and that yeah it's not just as good as yeah, yeah that's the one that probably the best thing i've seen so far with the uh with airsofting as a hobby mm -hmm. it's one of the biggest groups that is like a tight-knit group mm -hmm. that uh that has you know the the sport that you play but also the huge social side of it and the camaraderie and all that kind of stuff. It's like one of the, there's no other sport really that you can do as a hobby that, that is like that, you know? Yeah, definitely. And it's, you can just kind of go up to random people and say hello and they don't think you're strange. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's a really cool place to meet people. Yeah, yeah it's good. Such yeah. a good thing. I never thought, when I, when I first started, I never thought that I'd make so many friends like yeah. through doing it because yeah. everyone right. yeah everyone's just so friendly everyone's willing to help like if you problem yeah and, you know, leads, like tools or they're not quite sure what they're doing like yeah. everyone is quite good that yeah you can just ask anybody and, right so yeah, yeah. 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 It makes it it makes it fun yeah, yeah it's just nice knowing that you can you know, I don't hate go to games on my own, but you could because you'd just find someone to play with and it'd be fun. Yeah. Right. It's quite good when, when we go play. I think it is quite good because we don't always mm. stick together. No, no, we just go off and do our own thing. We just thing. can kind of like yeah. go, it, yeah, you can just go off to your own thing and we'll yeah. just. There'll be someone around that yeah. you can just like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you go play and uh, come back together and tell your stories of yeah, where yeah. the worst place you got shot or, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, last, so the last place we played, when we played at Drivewood, they've got um, a new system uh, yeah. that they're trialing, aren't they? Um, they've got like an app that you can have on a mobile phone um, with the site map. And if you log in, it will come up with your location, sort of share your location to your teammates. Because you scan a QR code at the start of the game and they tell you your team. Um, yeah. And it will obviously, you'll come up and it will have all the objectives and everything like pinpointed on the map. Um, so that was like, we, we both, I was really nervous to do it because I don't normally take my phone out with me because I don't have a proper case for it. Like, for yeah. it. So I was like, oh, I'll chance it. <laughs> so I like tucked it right at the back of the, <laughs> at the, back of the pouch. <laughs> Um, but it was quite handy because I was like, at one point I just got shot, went back to respawn yeah. and I was like, oh, where is everyone? Yeah. And I just looked for Gem on the map and I was like, I'll head that direction. So they try, they're, they're still sort of like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Moment, they said, isn't it? It's quite new, isn't it? Yeah. But that works quite well. That sounds cool. Yeah. Especially with a big map. It was quite a big site. Yeah. So that, that did come in handy. <laughs> yeah. When we, 
that's the problem with big sites. When you go there for the first time, you have no idea where you're going. That was, yeah, because that was everybody's yeah. in our group. Yeah, nobody had played there before. No. Right. So it was all completely new. So we were all a bit like, uh, where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> so, that, so that was quite handy to have that. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that sounds really cool. You know, these guys have had the uh, the printout maps. You know, they'll hand out whatever little. You know, they're like laminated or whatever, and they're real small. But uh, I've heard of guys. There's a bunch of groups down here starting like that run uh, mill sims that are starting to use these uh, apps and stuff like that. You know, to have all the objective and all the information, and everything. But that uh, team locator is really cool that's a that's a really cool feature but yeah like you said vixen i would be like pulling my phone out and then a stray bb hits the camera yeah. and breaks it <laughs> like, it, like, far, like far away and I'd be like this, like, yeah you're yeah, like uh don't so, shoot yeah. it <laughs> yeah yeah definitely you do get a bit of me to be but there was one game that they didn't really i didn't think they bought it free yeah so, well we didn't cheat. No, we didn't Because it wasn't our fault. No. But, but it worked in our favour. <laughs> it worked in our favour. So, so we had that app. We had that app um, so we knew where all our teammates were um, that were logged in. Um, however, they then changed um, the game to, they chose, I think, four people yeah. from each team to be like rogue players. So they weren't on the side. And then if you shot a rogue player, they then become your team member. Yeah. Um, however, some of the rogue players were on the app. So when I was looking, I was like, ah, well, they're over there. Because <laughs> we were supposed to, like, hunt them yeah, down they, they at the start. They had to hide, didn't they? They had to hide at the start. And I was like, oh, no, I've just looked to fi figure out where we're going on the map. And I was like, oh, oh no, they're logged in. Like, ah. <laughs> so they didn't, they should have really got them to look out. Yeah. They didn't think that part through, but... Favorite, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was quite an interesting game. Yeah. But yeah. Jim, did you? Uh, oh, go ahead. Where we're we playing tomorrow? We're playing Iron Sight tomorrow. Um, which oh, okay. My my second time. Is it second or third? Yeah, second. Yeah, second or third. Second time. Second. Yeah. I think. Time that I played there. That's yeah. That's your local site, isn't it? Yeah. It's um, a new site, but they've got some. Yeah, that's that's really exciting. It's like an old mushroom. Is it an old mushroom farm? Is it? I, mean, I should know if it's one of the right I think I think I was talking to one of the marshals last time. They said it's like an old mushroom farm or something, and they've got like um, the old poly tunnels still there. Oh, cool! And what they've done is like um, each one has like a different yeah. theme that they've yeah. done. Yeah. Um, so there's like a. Um, one where they've done a tube train where they've like made a train so you can kind of go in the little sections of it yeah. there's yeah. one or, there's one called the crypt oh that's terrifying and it's really dark i avoid that yeah you can go, down, you can go straight down the middle there's a, there is a coffin in the middle yeah. that they do say don't get inside it because yeah. it's on a <laughs> yeah um but along each side of this like tunnel yeah there's little columns but the columns are like hollow so you can if you go down the outside you can like step in them hide in yeah. like little boxes thing like yeah yeah so that and it's because it's pitch black you can just like yeah hide in there so if someone walks past you you're not gonna see it no <laughs> that's like oh yeah There's yeah that, that makes it creepy yeah yeah really creepy <laughs> that sounds really cool and yeah i'll have to uh, look that up and see if there's pictures of that place yeah, we'll put lots of photos. Yeah. There. Okay, cool. It might be getting um so we're meeting some people down there, aren't we, tomorrow. There's a few of us playing. Um I'm not gonna remember everyone's names. Um so <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna remember anyone's names. Uh, I know there is someone who takes photos, Dan. He he takes photos, he's playing. Nice. How many? I think there's fifteen of us, is there's quite a few. Um so I think uh so we're meeting PSDCS off, um, which are a couple of guys that play. Um, okay. They normally have like blow up dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Sounds really blow random. up what? Blow up dolphins, like the animal. They yeah. have these blow up dolphins and they like have them as their like mascot. Yeah. So they <laughs> have these blow up dolphins on their back. Yeah. Like, oh you know, shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're meeting them down there yeah. and they, I think okay. they're going to get some video footage. And yeah, they're YouTube. 
Yeah, they do YouTube. So um, I think they're going to make a little video of our day. So we'll have to like send yeah. it over to you. We'll loads of photos, loads of videos. Yeah. Be good. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so boy. a mushroom farm, that's uh, boy, listen, be careful what you eat out there. You'd be tripping. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did three. Of them. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, there's unicorns. Oh, I love them, yeah. <laughs> through all the different themed channels, that'll be really interesting. Yeah, there's, 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 there's like mastic rooms there. Oh, yeah. An experience. <laughs> right? But yeah, so it's, it's kind of like, I'm looking, it's kind of like a, it'll be really good, obviously we've been looking forward to it, but it's also kind of like a sad day as well, because yeah. we jumped to go and travel in six months. Oh, where are you going? So, um, so I'm going three months in South America, um, like Chile, Peru, Argentina, Brazil, um, and then we're going over to um, Southeast Asia, Thailand, and Indonesia, a couple of other places. So not going to be off for six months at least. Yeah. Flying at the end of the month. Okay. Well, I know uh, there's a ton of uh, Brazilian airsofters. Yeah. The airsoft's pretty big down there. Yeah, yeah. I would say, yeah. like, they play out there, and yeah. what it's like. Yeah, it could be. We haven't, yeah. <laughs> Six months does fly by, but, yeah, mm -hmm. an option. Play out there. Now, what uh, What are you traveling for? Just, uh, like, a vacation, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're backpacking, so we... Oh, wow. And staying in hostels and just seeing where we end up, really. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Some of the, uh, so I, uh, me and my friend, um, the work I do, I do, um, construction, I flip houses and, uh, and we also work on, uh, we do like property management. So we'll work on apartments and stuff like that, you know, fix them up. Well, the, uh, a couple of weeks ago, this, uh, older couple we met and, uh, we had to work on their apartment unit for something. Well, they actually, they've been married like 40 years, but they met on a pilgrimage just like that they both were from different parts of uh england in, in yeah. the they're both from the uk and uh and they met on a pilgrimage doing something like that they each you know went with separate groups or whatever but i uh, met through that and then got married and and now they live here in the states but uh yeah they just moved here like uh like a year ago or something from the uk yeah but yeah they were telling me all about it i can't remember what what areas they went to on their mm -hmm. pilgrimage, but they did the same thing. It was pa backpacking and just hiking and mm -hmm. meeting new people. And, you know, they would just, you know, do the same thing, like stay at uh, people's houses that would yeah. open up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So whereabouts do you live? I live in uh, South Carolina. Uh, you've been to uh, nice. Have you, so... Was Vixen? Had you been to? Uh, were you telling me you you came to the states a couple times to visit? No. Like, I'm not oh, okay. Um, okay. No, I'm not yeah, I've been once. I went for three and a half weeks. I think I went for. Okay. A uh, couple of places. Where to? Do you remember? Um, Georgia, oh. Alabama, and Florida. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Georgia's right. We're two hours from Georgia. So. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Georgia's lovely. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, hot. Um, yes, it was really hot. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really nice. Alabama was nice as well. But it, was, it was lovely. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a few people I've talked to that um, uh, somebody had gone to Colorado to visit their friend or uh, Idaho and Colorado and then Someone else I talked to had come to uh, Florida, you know, same thing uh, as you. So, yeah, that, uh, yeah. When I've talked to so many people on here, I'm like, who told me what? <laughs> I get it mixed up. Well, I'm always drinking on here too. So after I'm done, I'm like, uh, what did I say on there? I don't know. But <laughs> you know how when you're out when you're out drink. Well, you guys, you know, when you go out drinking at party, you know, you're going out tonight. If you talk to somebody new. The next day, you're like, what did I talk about? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, when, we, when we last played, yeah, and um, we introduced you to one of our friends. Oh, no. Um, he was also called Ryan, so my partner's called Ryan. And bless Jem, she got confused, and she thought his name was Lewis. I kept, I called so him Lewis all day. day. She was called oh, him Lewis. 
but he kept responding. <laughs> oh, he didn't like, correct it, yeah. And then I was then texting Jem saying like, oh, we'll, we'll have to all meet up again. And I mentioned him, and Jem's like, who's that? Ryan. And then you, you're like, who's the other Ryan? Like, I don't know who you're on about. And his name is Lewis. Do you mean Lewis? I was like, his name's not Lewis, Jem. And she was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, oh my like, god yeah so yeah that's like yeah. after the fact so you're like oh my god i called him that the whole time you know yeah but i didn't have an excuse for that because obviously i wasn't drunk because i was playing it so <laughs> no excuse <laughs> oh <laughs> damn yeah everyone knows the same so yeah. the amount oh so <laughs> so um ryan sometimes has his ghillie suit on um and the amount of times i've literally mistaken other ghillies for being ryan sure so now always ask because I've literally gone up to a, a, a random person with a ghillie suit on and been like oh I've like gone to hug them <laughs> thinking it was Ryan and they're like what are you doing and I'm like oh you're not my partner <laughs> I would say don't you know, don't uh, <laughs> so yeah no don't get so, confused and yeah, yeah. <laughs> say hey love how you doing you know <laughs> Like, they're like said, what yeah, why is she grabbing my bum <laughs> <laughs> right exactly oh, <clears throat> so Jem, did you uh did you grow up in the area you live now um i went to university where i live now i grew up um yeah not far maybe two two hours away i mean yeah. it's pretty small compared to america but yeah, yeah. Uh, okay up, um yeah a couple of hours away yeah. Any yeah. any brothers or sisters? Uh, I've got one brother who I keep trying to get into airsoft, but it hasn't. It's not happening yet. But we'll do that one day. That was my next question. <laughs> Does he play? <laughs> not yet. This is the answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How's your uh, your parents? They uh, or your family? Are they pretty yeah, cool so with you playing? All, they all live back where my hometown was. Yeah. Um, so just being my partner down where I am now. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah. When I asked, uh, when Vix and I were talking, she says, yeah, my family, they're, you know, they're, I, I try to, you know, show them the guns. And I remember you told me, uh, I shot my mom. Yeah. And I said, what? You can't shoot your mom. You're terrible. <laughs> yeah. I shot, oh, I shot my dad as well. I shot both of them. Oh, yeah. It's funny when, when I shoot. Well, my brother plays as well, so if we're both around them, we've got our stuff. Right. It's quite funny. But yeah, I can imagine. It is quite funny when we shoot mum because she does shriek a little bit. That's <laughs> bad. So it's a bit more comical. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, I'm, I'm leaving if you're getting your stuff out because someone's going to shoot me. Oh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. what uh, what kind of gear do you run? Do you What's your uh, favorite gun to use, Jem? Um, so my favorite gun is the Scorpion Evo. Ooh, that's I mean, a good one. I, I mean, I try other others, but it's, I always go back to it. So yeah, <laughs> we kind of started. Yeah, because you had on one Instagram, as well. So I had one as well, and I think like that's how we kind of stumbled on each other's pages. Yes, I remember now. You put up a post saying that everyone else that uses a Scorpion Evo, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah so then we started what chatting. Have you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember now. Was it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's a good gun. That's a gas blowback? No. No, okay. Yeah, I'm up at, uh, I've just got an AEG. Yeah. 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 Ryan keeps saying, Oh, I need a HP. <laughs> I'm just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is it's not H HP? No, mine isn't, no. Yeah. That was that was before I converted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I've never tried a uh, gas blowback rifle just the uh, pistols, you know? But I've talked to so many people on here that have uh, gas blowback rifles and uh, they love them. You know, they're like, yeah, I love how, you know, how it feels and it's loud. <laughs> I've got um, a group of friends that we sometimes play with. They're all gas blowback and they yeah. have it, but it's not something I've tried. No, no. Um, how, about, uh, how about grenades? <laughs> You guys take grenades with you when you go? Pyro? Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> you do. I, I hate them. <laughs> Jam, Jam doesn't like it. I think it makes you jump, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just hear me screaming. <laughs> yeah. I I did have, um, like, an impact grenade, but I think I said in my last video, I ended up losing it under a 
Oh, that's things. right. Forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, got lost or someone took it. We're not sure yet. Right. Yeah, it's one of those things, unfortunately. But um, my other half loves pyro and stuff, so. Yeah. He's got a few tricks in his box. <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't got... It's, it's quite difficult at the moment um, to get pyro and stuff in the UK. Mm. Um, a lot of the suppliers are finding it quite difficult, so... Oh, not okay. A lot of them in it. Mm. I think they're just not getting deliveries and stuff. So I don't right. think that'll make the price go up, maybe, possibly. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's with a lot of things. Uh, somebody, one of my buddies uh, that I've talked to on here, he lives here in the States in Texas, and he's been looking for a gas blowback rifle and because uh, he's only played with the AEGs, and he can't, he's gone to all these different sites, he can't get one. They're, they're all out of stock. And uh, so he's like, man, where do I find one of these? You know, he's going to have to look on eBay or something like that, you know, to find somebody else that's selling it, but... Yeah, that's, uh, it seems like that's a issue right now. When people sell it secondhand, do they know that you can't get hold of it? They'll yeah, put their price up as well. Right up, right yep. So it's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't cool. Well, I uh, I was really glad to meet you because um, last time that her uh, Vixen and I talked, you were telling me about Jem, right? Yeah. And because uh, you guys played together and stuff like that, and then. Yeah. You messaged me a while. It was a few weeks ago, I think, or maybe after we first talked and said, I would like to, you know, maybe we can set up where, have her get on here before she leaves for oh, yeah, yeah. traveling yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I, you know, and, and I was, I've been so busy the last couple of weeks because we were wrapping up where we're working right now. We were, we just finished this one uh, house, you know, that we did a renovation on. So uh, I've been so busy and then editing and stuff. Uh, I forgot about it. You texted me uh, like yesterday yeah. or a couple of days ago. Yeah. And I was so glad, I was, or maybe a few days ago and said, hey, you know, we're going out Saturday night or yeah. whatever. And uh, maybe we can do a podcast because, uh, yeah, I was excited. I was glad. Glad we were able to work it out. Yeah, it's been good. Thank you. Yeah, because we, normally we do it. Normally we only go to like restaurants and stuff, and we're thinking, we were like, how are we going to do how this? Gonna do it's going to be really noisy. Yeah, like when we're out, and it was yeah. like, well, we're going to have to like, yeah, maybe chance it and get a quiet yeah. bar. But then we thought it's Saturday night; it's not going to yeah. be quiet. I mean, it's going to be really noisy. Better than better than the bar. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, well, well, so we travelled up a little bit earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, when you when you asked me about it, or when you were telling me about it, uh, you were talking about doing it like when, while you were out. I thought that was a really cool idea, and it would work great. <clears throat> excuse me, if uh, if the microphone on the on the yeah. phone okay. wouldn't have that um, yeah. the auto cutout thing. You know what I'm talking about? The, the noise cancellation, I think it is, because uh, any kind of background noise, it'll it'll cut off your. So I'll you know it cuts off what you're saying or whatever. Uh -huh. So. Yeah, so then I was like, dang, that would, but it would be really cool background if yeah. you could be out, you know, talking yeah. while you're there, so, you know. We're having dinner, yeah, that would be so, it would not work. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> so loud. Oh, it's loud. So loud. They literally come out with these drums yeah. and all the, so if it's, if it's someone's birthday, so it's, not, like, it's not my birthday. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm going to find out which one it is. I'm going to call them. <laughs> And then they come out, like all the waiters will come out with these drums and they start like banging their drums. They do like a little parade to your table and they will sing and everything. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll you get definitely. Wi-Fi with me. Yeah. So we'll, yeah, we'll, that's cool. we'll get some pictures and stuff and we'll have to send them to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, Mexican restaurant we go to here for Mexican food and they, uh, they do the same thing with uh, birthdays. They'll bring out one of those giant sombreros. Oh, it's like this yeah. big. And uh, they'll stick it on whoever's, you know, birthday it is. They'll put it on their head and then sing, and, you know, in Spanish or whatever. But uh, I always try to follow along, but I only know, like, a couple words. So, I don't like, uh, you know, for the whole song. Yeah. I should really learn some more Spanish, considering I'm spending three months out in South America. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my kids speak more Spanish than me. They're learning it at school and they go on holiday every year with their grandparents to Spain. So they yeah. can learn. And they'll start coming out with stuff and I'm shocked. <laughs> my, uh, my son's dating a girl. He's been dating a girl for 
a year now. She's uh, Colombian. She has two kids, and uh, she just moved here like two years ago from Colombia, and uh, you know, right here in South Carolina. So my son's actually speaking a lot of Spanish, you know, since he's been with uh -huh. her, and uh -huh. she's trying to learn English still, you know. So she's real kind of, uh, you know, slow on it, but she'll use her phone. If she don't know how to talk, like her and my wife like to hang out and talk and drink wine together and stuff. And they'll, and if she don't know how to say something, she'll just bring up the Google Translate thing and and try to read it off of there or say it off of there or whatever. So it works out pretty cool. But her uh, son is uh, is eleven, and he is the perfect translator. He can speak fluent, really fluent both. Uh, so it's really nice because if I'm, you know, if, if uh, if she's talking to me or something in, in Spanish, cause I'm, I'm trying to learn Spanish as well. And I'm uh -huh. like, uh, I heard Ola, what else? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so her son will just like, you know, translate. She's like, oh, he'll, he, oh, she said this, this and this. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good way yeah. to learn. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, being, you know, going on that trip or whatever, you're going to be kind of like full immersive in the, you know, yeah, I'm sure I'll pick some up. around it. You'll pick some up. Yeah. You pick up the bad words and how to say drink or wine. That's cool. Now, what are they uh, in Thailand? What, what are they? Do they speak Thai? Do they have their own language? Yeah. Thai? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure so. Yeah. 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 I don't know about that. I know. Actually, I knew uh, in, when, I, when I spent some time in Japan, they have uh, there's a lot of Filipinos that come over there. Mm -hmm. And so I knew uh, a little bit of Japanese, a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. Tagalog, I think it's called is uh, Filipino language. But um, that was about it. I spent some time in Korea, but I never learned mm -hmm. those two months. We were drunk most of the time. So, uh, yeah, I don't remember any words <laughs> yeah the philippines is lovely i've been to the philippines as well okay yeah, yeah. i'm gonna end yes. up with really like holiday it's really i'm gonna be so jealous that here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah traveling is really cool i mean it really opens your eyes to a lot of different things with uh people's cultures and you know it's it's really good to do that you know a lot of people don't have a chance to do it i i probably wouldn't have traveled that much if i went in the, went in the military you know most people don't really travel outside of the country. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Yeah, that's good. We're going to have a big, like, welcome back party. Yeah. When you get back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lots of drinking. We'll make two nights out of it. <laughs> 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 Damn, I'm for, like, yeah. an extra night. Yeah. <laughs> right. Quite too hungover to play airsoft. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> the day off. <laughs> Watch rubbish movies. Yeah. And then, and then oh, yeah. Airsoft hangover is not good. No. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be. A few times. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being on. Beautiful ladies. Appreciate you being on here. You're going to have a great time, I'm sure, tonight. And uh, say hi to your uh, partners for me. And hopefully we'll get them on here soon. Talk yeah, about we'll the airsoft to... stuff. Yeah, That'd definitely. be cool. Yeah, definitely. Well, you, you guys have a good night, and I appreciate it. Where can uh, people find you guys online? So Instagram, just Gem Airsoft. Yeah, find Vixen 08 ADSU. Yes. All right. Well, I appreciate it, guys. You guys have a good night. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye.